Recently on the New Tech Forums, there's been a couple of uh, threads posted about asking about how to do a uh, use a gradient to uh, control a wipe. And there are a couple solutions um, in the Node Editor and you know elsewhere in Lightwave. Uh, one idea I suggested was using a scalar layer node set to uh, Y distance to object, and uh, X Swampy has this other solution here, which I've seen earlier, I think. But uh, I'll show you both of these, and uh, you can take it from there. So the first one I'll show you, and this would work in the uh, transparency in the regular transparency panel as well. Uh, just set the gradient and uh, set it to input parameter, y distance to object, and I will need to select the object, no, nope, not pivot point, y distance to object, and set the uh, null as my object, and let's set this bottom one to zero. So now as the uh, null moves down, you can see I get a stripe in there where it, that is black, I mean that is uh, completely transparent. So I want that the the problem with this type of uh, work is I need to make this gradient larger because this is going by the distance to the object here's the object so it's 100% transparent here all the way up to here and then it becomes opaque so in order to make it so I'm not getting the rim on both sides I just need to expand my gradient a bit so that it encompasses the entire object. And you notice I'm getting some ghosting here, uh, where it's not completely transparent. That's because this layer is the smoothing is set to spline. If I set that to linear, it'll it'll be sharper. And let's make sure I'm at 100% transparent there. Okay. I made that too large. Let's uh, make this. Top one five meters and this one five point five. Okay. Now it's uh, you can see it's making it transparent as it goes down. And this is just in the layer system; it's not a node. Uh, however, you can also do the same thing in the layer system by going to Edit Nodes, Add Node, Layer, Scalar Layer, double click on it make it a gradient type again y distance to object and null and again I need a key at 5 meters 5 meters not 5 millimeters I make this end of another one there and this one should be black or zero and this one should be actually I have that the other way around invert keys there we go. And change my spline types to linear. And that should give us pretty much what we had in the planal layer system. Well, it helps if I actually connect it to something, like transparency. And there we go. We have our transparency based on the movement of a null. The other setup for this is is cool because the line follows the null exactly. So let me add a few things in here. We're going to add a spot info node, which is, says, hey, this is a spot in 3D space. And we're going to add an item info node. And we're going to set this item info node to uh, null. So this is taking the information for the item null. And uh, what I need to do is I'm going to add a gradient now, and I'm going to add some other things in later. But uh, let's say add a gradient. I'll just do it in the color channel this time. And I'll set two keys. One white, one black. Well, I'll add another one. There. So now I have a hard line. So I need to figure out the difference between the world spot and the item info to you know tell me where is this item in the world. So to do that, I'm going to use a subtract math scalar subtract where is it subtract right there so i'm going to subtract the item position from the world spot and i'll plug that into the input you'll notice it's on the 
it's just going on the x-axis. So as I move my null around, we see it operating on the x-axis. But I want it to operate on the y-axis. Well, what's going on here is these are these blue dots are vector outputs. So they have three numbers in them. They have x, y, and z, or x, y, z, or heading pitch bank. And uh, the green dots are a scalar input, so that's only taking one value. So it's actually taking the first value. So it's actually taking the x out of the x, y, z, and that's it's subtracting the x channel from the uh, item info and subtracting it by the spot info or the other way around. To make it operate on the y-axis, we need to add a tool, and the tool is going to be scalar or vector scalar. This changes a vector into a scalar, and I need two of these. I'll set up one first. I'll double click on that, and I set the mode to Y channel. Now I'm going to Control C, Control V. Oh, sorry about that. And there we go. Now it's operating only on the Y channel. And I could also uh, do some other things with this. I could do the Z channel or the X channel. If I set them both to maximum, and you have to set these both, uh, then we get a something else. Let me rotate my view around. You can see we get a square gradient where the null is the corner of the box. And also, uh, if I set it to length, I'll get a circle. So there, now we have our uh, radial gradient kind of based on the position of the of the null relative to world space, world zero. So there you have it, a couple of different ways to have a null control a gradient in uh, Node Editor.